Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was had watched another video and I watched it and it wasn't in English and there was really no talking and she didn't really understand how to do this. And there's two ways to do this. One of them is the complex star. But this is kind of easy. Take a two-point line, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular and hit P and put it in the center of the page and you see I've already got indexing lines in the center of the page. I'm gonna make my nudge distance one inch. And I'm gonna move it over one inch. And then I'm gonna double click on it and move the rotation to the center. Doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. And then we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and we're gonna rotate it six degrees and then just keep rotating it around that center. Now there's a lot easier way to do that using the transformation docker. And when you use the transformation docker, you really only want one copy. So we're gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Transform, and we're gonna rotate 60 degrees 59 times because we've already got one copy and voila, you have it. Now I made it quite a bit bigger than this one, but you can see there's some crosshair lines. And depending on what shape you want, you can take a circle and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Holding down the shift key, grow it to as close as you can get to those points. And then go intersect. Well, take it back. Let's back up here. I need to move my circle out of the way. And because I'm working in the center of the page, I can just move it out of the way. We need to group this together. Go to object and group and group. Then I can hit P and put it right back. We're gonna select the whole thing and we're gonna go intersect. And it made that shape. Now, one of the reasons I decided to make the video is because you can see that we didn't quite make the shape. We didn't quite close the curve. So what we can do now is take this and ungroup it and open the get the shape tool, but open another Docker, Windows, Dockers, Close or Join Curves, and we're gonna select all these, and I've got mine set on a quarter of an inch. And in that fast, it joined all those curves. Now, I don't know what they're gonna do with this, but there's another way to create this whole thing using a complex star. In different versions, there's actually a star in, in complex star. But if you go to star and right here, press complex star, and then you can hold down the control button and start growing it. We'll hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then you can change these points. You can only go so far unless you have a lot of them. Now we're gonna go to 60, because we had 60 on that other one. And while we're doing that, we can change this and it'll bring it in as you can see, but we can go back to 60 and then we can change this point and bring back in that circle. So we've got almost exactly the same thing. You can play around with this. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. So you're gonna have 60 points. Now, just to make the video a little bit better, what you could also do with this if you're gonna color it in, I'm gonna take away my indexing lines and I'm gonna get the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill that in. Well, we know we have 60. Let's open that Docker again. Go to Windows, Dockers, Transform and we need to send this to the center. Just double check on it and make sure it's in the center. A lot of times if you don't hit that star. Now, six degrees, 59 time and we filled all those in in that split second. So you could do the same thing with the other ones. You know, like go here, double click on it, and make the rotation to the center, and do the same thing. And that way you don't have to fill in those spots if that's what you wanted. Now you can also left click no outline and you just have those field colors. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.